Hey guys, welcome to Superhero Comics Takeover. Now, we are going to do the Logan movie review. So please tune in. I feel paralyzed. In the near future, a weary Logan cares for an ailing Professor X at a remote outpost on the Mexican border. His attempt to hide from the outside world gets upended when X introduces him to a young mutant named Laura. Logan must now protect the girl and battle the dark forces that want to capture her. This is our movie review for the Logan. Well, it is the Logan, but for the Logan movie. Um, guys, 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 this movie, for me personally, I give it, don't hate on me, I do give it a C plus. And I'll tell you in details why later on. So, but just heads up, this review is going to be somewhat of a mediocre, um, I, I have like a mediocre feeling about this movie. Uh, here's the thing. This movie is far better than any X-Men movies before it. I have to say that. Far better. Um, obviously, it's more realistic. It's more gritty. Uh, as far as, like, explosions and, and... You know how, like, every superhero movie has all this huge, gigantic thing happening? Whether it's a light from the sky shooting up and it's destroying earth and and you know or apocalypse someone like him coming to earth and like destroying everything no this guy this guy i'm sorry this this movie logan wolverine is a badass but at the same time this movie is very grounded so so it's not it's not really gonna be over the top when it comes to explosions there's like a few explosions a couple but not so much so that it's like world ending um okay so what i so the movie is more of a western um what i love about it is that they there's a quietness to this movie the way logan goes about his day picking up people he's a limo driver picking up people doing you know like just working nine to five just actually it's not nine to five he's working longer hours but just being able to like provide for him and professor x and and just seeing professor x be somewhat cognizant but then not cognizant the next minute is kind of alarming and jarring because we're so used to him being the Professor X I'm talking about. We're so used to him being the glue that holds a team together. But in this one, it's actually Logan who holds his family together, which is pretty fascinating. Um, this is very much like a Western movie. It's, it, you know, the the black hats, the people who wear the dark hats, the bad guys, they're very visible with their robotic engineered hands you know, and the good guy, someone like Logan, wears a white shirt. So that's how you know that he is a symbol for, for heroism, heroism, whatever heroism. So he's like you can already see the see that going on from the first five minutes of the film. There's a lot of like slashing and breaking people's skulls and slicing through it um whenever wolverine uses his claws it hurts him deeply and you can feel it and see it in his face um that's really fascinating and right when you thought that hugh jackman would not be able to do a little bit a right when you thought that hugh jackman has given his all as wolverine not until you see this movie is just He's, he's even way more awesome. Um, and a credit to, to the little girl, uh, the actress, the actress who plays, um, who plays, I think Laura, I have to remember that. Yeah. Who plays Laura? Fantastic. That actress really blew my mind. Um, in the movie X 23 does not talk much. She does a lot of grunting and like making like snarly, like animalistic noises that I think Wolverine can can relate to. 
but that's only because she hasn't she spent majority of her life in in um she spent majority of her life in captivity and no one has really treated her with any kindness or love or compassion so it's so weird seeing logan being that when reality when we see logan we think tough guy we think ass kicker we think we think that he is he represents everything aggressive but in this in this movie he actually is the compassionate one he's the one who teaches her what to what when and when and when not to act out on her aggression so that's pretty fascinating to see um but then again professor x was that to him so i guess that makes kind of that kind of makes sense professor x scares me his powers goes berserk and it can like manipulate and change everything everything in that in that world so that's pretty scary um but still pretty cool obviously so here's the thing uh i for, i forgot i forgot their names the 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 robots ah yeah yeah the cyborg people anyways so what what's going on is they they're pretty much hunting mutants down and they have with them Caliban and Caliban has the ability to track mutants so so they've been like torturing Caliban and having him give away each one of his friends you know and so i thought i thought that's pretty that's pretty cool uh i guess you know um just the fight scenes in this is so awesome uh wolverine excuse me wolverine is one of those he's just one of those guys who just can can destroy whatever he wants but in this world it right you know where in this world that he's at like his powers are slowly fading like he can no longer heal so everything he's doing is really taking a toll on his whole entire um his whole entire being and so every time he uses his power his his abilities you can tell that he uses he uses it for the most important almost like he's making sacrifices every time he uses his gift and so when he when he rescued um x23 from dr rice um that was it like that that pretty much sealed the deal he knew he had to go full force there are like there are like other characters in here that i i that kind of stood out to me there's this guy mohawk and um pierce is the leader he's like the baddest of the bad um he was pretty good at what he did what he does but sorry guys um you're up against two beastly people and that's not even including the beast He's nowhere in this world. Like, you're up against Wolverine and X-23. You are going to get sliced, diced, and miced. Whatever that word is. Um, what was I going to say? Just this movie. Here is my only my issue with this movie. It's like other superhero movies. There's still a formula to it, you know? Um... Like, ugh, there's just something about it that's like, hey, we're rated R, but we're still going to adhere to the formula of all the other X-Men, which is, which is like, it's still a story about being a team, going up against the bad guys, and, and all of that. I, I just, the... There are a few things I don't like. I don't like the callbacks to the comics. I, in this world, the comic book is a thing. The comics that we read is a thing. Also, I don't like the fact that like Wolverine can just 
I don't like the fact that Wolverine can just go anywhere and people don't recognize him. I mean, he's lived a long time. By now, they should recognize him already. He should be infamous, at least. Um, oh, I gotta tell you, by the way, guys, if you guys... If you guys are thinking, like, oh, is there any callback, like, is there anything fun about this? There is, because, like, towards the end of the movie, he actually gets his iconic, like, his iconic beard. Like, I, I forgot, ugh, not lamb chops, mutton chops. Yeah, he he gets that. And so that makes me laugh, because, like, it kind of brings you back to everything. And Hugh Jackman's just amazing. I think he's just one of the best I've ever seen. Um, here's what I don't like about the Wolverine. Caliban dies after locating the thing. I was hoping Caliban would do more like help Wolverine. Or like, I don't know, just be there for, for X-23. But no. Another thing I don't like is uh, me. I don't like that the mercenaries or whatever that they were easy to to dispatch. I mean, I kind of want them to do more with the exception of um with the exception of Pierce, I kind of wanted I kind of wanted a an, a bigger batter bad if that makes any sense. Um, I don't know, it's, it's better than Deadpool by a million, but not any, not too much better than X-Men Apocalypse. It is kind of like a movie, like a Mad Max, okay, that's exaggeration, it's not Mad Max, it's like a road movie, and like, for, first of all, the very, the scene with with um, X-23 and just, like, how she was kidnapped and Wolverine chased after her. Like, that was pretty cool. The problem is, it all ended up back at this hotel or motel, and it was just so lame. I wanted something more. Then they ended up going through a casino and fighting through there. That was pretty cool. Um, it turns out those, those mercenaries actually have some other abilities besides their bionic hands. So that's pretty cool that they can, they can shoot out lasers or whatever. Um, I, I don't know. There's something about this, this movie. It's kind of way, way, way better than, than Deadpool. In fact, crazier, and I know this sounds crazy because Deadpool is crazy, but no, this movie really pushes the limit, but I think it's just because of its rated R thing. Um, let's see, uh, Ed Charles Xavier, he's pretty cool, I mean, towards the end, he ends up using, he's about to die, he ends up using his one last power and reverses life back to pretty much takes you back to the original, the beginning. Not necessarily the beginning of the X-Men film, but just to a time where they were still normal and where Wolverine wakes up and he's in a normal world. But guess what? X-23 is right there. So I think that's pretty cool to be able to bring X-23 to the now of the X-Men. That's so awesome. Um... The jokes are forced. They're lame. Uh, the action sequence. Some are cool and some are lazy. Sorry. Um, let's see. It is a violent film, but like that shouldn't be enough. There should be more than that. So, I don't know. Honestly, it's... I'm caught in between. I feel like I need to watch it a second time. Here's my problem. My problem is I had all these expectations. And I came in there. And it was... It didn't reach those expectations. But... It's still... It still... Excuse me. It still did more than what most would have thought. So... Uh, I, I don't know. It's a C plus for me. 
I just have to live with it. I want to say it's a B or a B minus, but that's stupid. It's a C plus. Um, so once again, the jokes were forced. The action sequence wasn't good enough for me. Those, see, those take each one takes a grade off. Uh, let's see what what else. Uh, I knew I should have written something because usually I like to take notes, but I always miss stuff every time I take notes. I uh, you know what I kind of like the fact that like the whole movie is just about life, and that's crazy. It's not about killing or taking life or being a hero. Being a mutant. It's just about. Living. Excuse me. It's just about living. It's about accepting living. And just doing what. What you're, you want to do. Is to live a good life. So I, I thought that was pretty cool. I I like the fight scenes. But it could have been better. Um, I was so. Like, X-23 was good but she could have been better i get no she's fine the way she is i guess what's wrong is that i'm thinking like oh she's just a small girl like i want her to be a little bit more like adult not adult like but i want her to be like around 17 years old and can comprehend and do all this stuff so maybe that's why i feel this way i feel like it was just kind of boring for me but that's for me. It doesn't mean she's a boring character. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like you guys will love this film. Some of you guys will rate it a 9 out of 10. I, for me, personally, rate it a 7 out of 10. Um, or a C+. Plus. Uh, let's see. What else? There is a scene... Where uh, Wolverine and what's her face X twenty three are running through a hallway and just watching, watching Wolverine slice and dice as he goes along, and then watching X twenty three do the same thing. Like there's a scene where like X twenty three slices someone's um kneecaps out, and then. And then Wolverine just slices his head. Like, it was pretty cool. You know, there's a, the scene I'm sure you've seen in a trailer too where they're fighting in the forest. That was cool because they were able, Special X-23 was able to be real pharaoh and jump from trees and stuff like that. But just seeing them tag team, insane. Insane in the membrane. It was just fantastic. My life everything wow i was just in awe and i was laughing i was clapping but then again like i said like i said there were still missing some points um a a i just feel like things weren't i don't know it was it, you know what i need to stop it it's good no it's great but not great enough for me if that makes any sense um, I don't know. Of course, they always do this thing, the joke where Wolverine sticks his one finger, or one uh, knife finger pops out, so it looks like a middle finger. Um, that's pretty funny, I guess, for some people. For me, it wasn't that funny because I expected it, but I don't know. I, I think that a lot of people will love it and very few will find it, will find it, um, formulaic. I guess that's the word. It definitely earned its R rating. So much blood, so much slicing of the heads, the necks, and the, and beneath the torso. Um, yeah, it was, it's fun. I hope to see it again so I can just see it and maybe my second review would actually be, be better. So anyways, guys, thanks for listening and see you guys next time. <sighs>
I don't know. I think, um, yeah, you guys will love it. That's all I can tell you.